Today, I am super excited to be unboxing an absolute classic, the Casio F91W, and we're going to be testing whether it's real or fake, but I have been waiting way too long to open this watch, so let's waste no time and get straight into it. Okay. Okay, the first thing we have is our subscribe. That's right. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our next watch review. But let's see what else is in here. Oh, okay. So it came in its own box with a stand and everything. Look at that. Wow, so this is already a good sign as for it being genuine. I have seen that a lot of the fakes just come by themselves with just like a little paper tag on it. So this is a very good sign. Let's have a look what's on the inside. Now it does look like uh, it has been banged around a little bit. I don't know if you can see at the front of the uh, case there, there is a little bit of scratching on the front surface here where the watch has been rubbing across it and that's because they just didn't secure it around the holder. But these watches can take a beating so I'm sure it's not gonna be an issue. Now just before I take it out of the display case guys, I just wanted to let you know about the price of this and what I actually went through to get it, okay? So originally I saw it at my local watch dealer and I thought, oh cool, it's a classic an F91W, I've got to get my hands on this. Looked at the price and it was $59 and I said, no thanks inflation, I'd rather get it online. So uh, I had a look and I found it on eBay and um, I think it was about $17 Australian. And after I purchased it, I thought, uh oh, maybe this is too good to be true, I'd better message the seller. So I did, and I said, is it genuine or fake? And he told me it was a fake. So I asked him to cancel and refund it, had a look on Amazon, and I found the same exact watch for only $5 more, and I would get it the very next day because I'm with Amazon Prime. So it was a no-brainer, cancelled the eBay. This is the one that I've got from Amazon Prime, and uh, I'm very happy with the decision. And speaking of which, I have seriously been loving having all of my Amazon orders arrive so quickly and with free shipping. So if you want to try Amazon Prime for free, I've actually got a special link that'll let you get 30 days for free. So I'm leaving that for you below. But in terms of being genuine or not, what do you reckon of first impressions? I certainly think it looks good, but I have been doing a lot of research on how to test if it's genuine or fake. And I've also got this special tool, which I'm gonna to use to investigate and see for sure. So let's open up this nice packaging and take a look. So I'm gonna start going through the telltale signs to see if this watch is genuine. As I mentioned, on the back, we have this nice brushed horizontal finish on the metal casing on the back. That is a good sign. I have seen some of the fakes have a vertical brushed finish and it is extremely prominent, whereas here it's a lot more subtle. Next, take a look at these screws and that is a pass and I'll tell you why. They are a Phillips screw, but they also have the option for a flat head. So a lot of the fakes actually just have a generic Phillips screw. So it's definitely a good sign that it has Phillips and flathead compatibility. On the front, you want to feel with your finger the bezel around the lens and see if it feels smooth. If you feel any jaggedness, you can quite easily tell that it's a fake. That does feel pretty smooth to me. So that is a pass so far. And obviously having this tag is a great sign as well. So the final thing, which I'll test on the front, so I'm just gonna bring it a bit closer for you. Notice how just under the letters on the digital display, there is a nice even gap there, and it is quite substantial. Some of the fakes, you'll notice that the gap is very small, like it's been shifted down the digital display, and also you'll sometimes even see it a little bit twisted or crooked. So it's definitely looking good so far, and just to be absolutely certain, beyond a shadow of a doubt, I'm gonna use my little 60X microscope, which is a pretty cool little device. It's got a um, ultraviolet light and also some LEDs. So I'm gonna take a closer look at the face and get back to you with my findings. Excellent news, guys. I am pleased to report that this F91W is in fact genuine based on my investigation. 
So I had a look at the word resist down the bottom there and there's a very tiny little letter U and based on the positioning and clarity of that letter, I am very confident that this is a genuine F91W. So with that being said, if you want to ensure that you're getting a F91W that is genuine, I'm leaving a link to the exact listing that I bought it from for you below. So with that out of the way, now that we know this is genuine, let's take a closer look at the features of this F91W. Now, first of all, I am super excited to get this bad boy on my wrist. So let's do that now. And just for reference, I'm wearing my A700W here, which if you haven't seen, I've done a review of this watch, but it does look like it's a very similar size. So I'll take it off for a side by side. Okay, so that's the A700W. Putting it on top, it looks like that the A700W is a tad thinner, but this is an extremely thin watch anyway. So let's get this F91W on my wrist. All right, time for a wrist check on my 6.75 inch wrist. And as you can see, I think I've got five loops spare down there and it tucks in nicely. Doesn't feel like it's too small, doesn't appear too small, definitely doesn't appear too big, especially as someone who's used to wearing G-Shocks. So I'm very happy with the way this looks and feels on my wrist. Very satisfying to have such a classic watch on my wrist. It's hard to believe that these have been in production for over 30 years and they're still being produced today. In fact, apparently they sell over 3 million of this watch every year, which I guess is a testament to why people are still trying to fake this design. So let's take this watch off now and I'm going to go through some of the functions and we're also going to shut off all the lights to do a backlight test, so stick around. All right, so let's have a zoom through the functions. So we've got an alarm, always a good one to have. Stopwatch, oh man. You know, I had a friend in primary school who had a Casio and I don't think it was this exact one, but we actually used to play a little game where we'd try and stop the stopwatch on exactly five seconds. So just for old time's sake, I'm gonna give that a go. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, 493, come on, that's pretty close. That deserves a thumbs up, guys. Give this video a like if you're enjoying it. And let's keep going through some of these functions. So what else have we got? That's basically it. So we have the standard time, alarm, and a stopwatch. There you go. I think you can also do laps and resets and such, but it's very, very simple watch and basically the bare essentials of what you need to get by. All right, now just before we get into the backlight test, apparently there's one other feature we can do. Keep holding this down, and there it is. That's the Casio logo. The, the O is a bit small, but you get the idea. So there you go. Now let's get into the backlight test. All right, now just before we get into the backlight test, I do want to point out that this is not well known for having a good backlight, so let's just get that out of the way. I'm now going to shut the lights off, and we're going to see how bad the light really is. Okay, lights are off, are you ready? One, two, three. Oh my goodness. That really is dreadful, isn't it? So this is literally in the pitch black and you can barely make out the 10 there. You certainly wouldn't be able to tell the full time. So, uh, you know, didn't really expect much more, but um, was good to see that in person. Now, if you're someone who is a subscriber of the channel, you're probably wondering, why did I get this watch and when am I ever going to wear it? As you know, I do usually wear my M5610U, which I am extremely proud of this watch. And then when I have my sports games, I like to wear my GD350, which I have done a review for if you'd want to check that out. But I am going to make another one week commitment, guys. That's right. I'm going to wear this watch for one week, no matter what. Even for my sports games, even even when I'm in the shower, this is water resistant, so we're going to put that to the test. Basically, I'm just going to put it through hell for one week and come out on the other side and see how it fares. So, if you want to be a part of that and see how it goes, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out. And if there's any of you who want to join me and actually get your hands on one of these absolutely classic, iconic Casio watches, I'm leaving a link in the description below. As someone who is into watches and Casios, I am leaving you with our watches playlist and also a related watch video that you're not going to want to miss. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss our next watches review and the one week check-in on the F91W. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next review.